JD with JD's Wraps again. This is going to be the last video in the disassembly series uh, for the Tesla Model Y and I guess Tesla Model 3. Everything that we've done also applies to the Model 3 as well. Um, I'm going to try to get through this quickly because I think our battery is kind of running low here. So we're going to talk about how to remove the fog lights and how to remove the grill from the bumper. So we're going to do one fog light real quick. Um, basically what you have is you have T20s and you're also going to need one of these, but you have one, two, three T20s, and then you have one of these connectors as well. So start with this guy, just kind of pop it out and move on to the T20s. Come up here. those out now this can kind of come out and what's left are these like little almost like little flaps you can see they kind of flap up so the way that I get these out I just kind of brace one hand on the bumper and just kind of lift up and they just come out very easy um, now you have these little push things you can see here basically just pinch it like if you can use one of these just kind of get one side push it in and then get the other side Those come out. So these are all over this thing. All right, boom. So that's how you get the fog light out. And we'll just kind of set this aside. Grill is roughly the exact same. So let's come over to the grill. So the grill, you're gonna have two T20s, one right here, one right here. And then you're gonna have these little flaps um, one, two, three, four, five, and then you've got another, you know, one, two, three, four, five down there. So this is a bit trickier, so let's go ahead and get these 20s out. So ideally, the way that these should work is you just push. Here, come, come a little closer here is you just kind of push these in like this, and then this comes up. That's how they should work. Now, some of these are really tight, and if they're really tight, you can just as easily pull them back this way, and that works as well. But this one's actually looks like it's working with me. So just kind of do each of these one at a time. All right, now, now what we can do is we're gonna rotate the bumper a little bit. I found this is easier to do it this way. Let's so just be careful. Always happens, it's one of them. And now we're back down here. So now is when we kind of have to lift these out. Push them. Some of these you can push, some you'll probably have to. Coming up pretty good. So you just kind of push these just like the top. Okay. The grill is now loose except for these little tabs. Again, just like on the. So we'll go through and we'll get these. Start on one side, feed it through. The other side. One always has to be more difficult. Next. All right, there we go. And then with that, the grill comes out. 
So for me, removing this grill is important because it's funky in there. Like the, the way that this kind of connects against, it's really hard to get your hand in there to really get a nice clean cut in there. And for a white car, especially if you're doing something like a dark film over a white car, you're gonna see white for the most part. It's a tough cut to make. So with this out, it's really easy to put your inlays in there now. So I take the extra time to do this. What was this, five or six minutes to get these things out. Makes the bumper a lot easier. Um, while we're here, let's go ahead and look at this camera real quick. So you have this thing on here, this little tow hook cover. You can get this one of two ways. You can either go around to the front and kind of push in, or you can just kind of grab this top part and just kind of pop it out. And then boom, and then these slide off. And you got that off as well. Um, the sensors are right here as well. So if you need to take a sensor out, super easy. Just separate this, come here, might as well. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll show you. So basically separate this, and then you kind of spread these apart, and then the sensor will slide out. Easy peasy. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. This is the last of our disassembly series. Um, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I, I don't mind answering questions or talking about things, or if you, you know, have questions about wrapping, let me know. I'm here for that. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.